Hello everyone, it's Ricardo and it's time for yet another Ultimate Epic Battle using the Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. This time I intend to pit the forces of the Jedi against the forces of the World War II US Infantry. Now I can just take this opportunity that if you like what you're seeing to click the subscribe button and give me a like. And that way then if you also click the notification button, you'll get notified of more videos in the series. So the first battle, we're going to pit 500 Jedi versus 20,000 US Infantry. We're going to use the standard test map to try and keep the frame rate as high as possible. So with that, we're viewing the troops. We can see our Jedi in the middle waving their lightsabers or glow sticks. It looks a bit like a rave. You never know. But let's go. Let's get into it and see who wins. So as you can see, the US soldiers were victorious that way. The Jedi couldn't close the gap quick enough between them and the ranged units of the US infantry. So we're going to try again. We're going to go for a slightly different dynamic now and change the numbers. We're going to go this time for 500 Jedi against 4,000 World War II USA troops. So let's see how this goes. So we've cut the numbers down quite considerably. That hail of bullets is cracking off. But will it be enough to stop the advancing Jedi? Well, who would have thought it? This time the Jedi indeed did win. They managed to close that gap. So let's try another dynamic now, and let's ramp it up to 2,000 on each front of US World War II GIs against the same number of Jedi, just 503 Jedi. For as good as, it's 500 Jedi for me. So let's go and see who wins this time. Of course, the ultimate epic battle simulator, which this game is, is available on Steam with now the new available workshop mod, which will allow you to put community-based mods into the game so you can have many other weird and wacky battles and combinations. Jesus, for example, against 30,000 zombies. Although, be careful with your graphics card, and after all, it is your processor depending on how many units you get on the screen.
just the last few GI remaining and the Laser Knight or Jedi were victorious. And it came down pretty close, pretty close, only 46 Jedi remaining, but they were indeed victorious. Check back for more videos in the series.